Forecast, News 18, weather from where you live. Well, I always like going to all the Purdue activities or any of the activities in our viewing area, and I was able to jet over to the Purdue Homecoming Parade briefly tonight before I had to jet back uh, to work here. And it was just inspiring to see these 14 astronauts on this float. It was a real honor and just great to see them there. Um, it's amazing how many just came out of Purdue. So a nice night for a parade. This nice weather is not going to last very long, though. Um, we're, we've got a freeze coming. Now, nobody's gotten down to 36 officially yet in our area. We've had some 37s, but not 36. Normally, we get our first 36 between the 1st and 6th of, uh, 6th of October. First 32 is between the 10th and 17th. I think everybody's going to likely get down to at least 33 on Saturday morning. Some places maybe as low as 30. So pretty widespread light freeze is on the way. A couple showers tonight. Nothing to impact the parade over at Purdue tonight. But we've got a few scattered showers and storms working northeastward out of Illinois. So rainfall coverage increasing a little bit overnight. And we'll have a few of these even around tomorrow morning, but it will be a warm night. Lows only down into the 60s with a south-southeast wind. But tomorrow we go in the opposite direction by afternoon after a high of 72, 40s by 5 p.m. Shower storms increase and then just some showers in the evening as the cold air comes in. Watch the cold air come in after low 70s. Boy, mid 40s, low to mid 40s make that at 8 o'clock, and then we are down well down into the 30s by 5 o'clock Saturday morning, and 30 to 34 is going to do it for everybody for the low Saturday morning with wind chills in the 20s. We rebound to 54 Saturday afternoon, windy, mostly sunny, but still a chill in the air, near 50 north to the mid 50s for a good chunk of the rest of the area. Here's 18 Precision Cast. We're planning out your day tomorrow. Some scattered showers, a couple storms around tomorrow morning. That's 8 o'clock. This is 9.30. And here comes the front end from the west. It barrels on through. Can't rule out an isolated, strong, or severe gust as a little embedded, little broken line of heavier rain or a storm or two comes through along the cold front. Right there's the front there. Here we are around 4 tomorrow afternoon. You can see still some rain behind the front. So a little bit rainy even once the front goes through. And that'll be a cold rain with a half to one inch of rain expected from this. A couple places may get a little more than one inch of rain. Muddy football fields, 44 at 8 p.m. tomorrow night with a wind chill 35. The rain gradually pulling away, but it will be windy and cold. And for the game on Saturday, which starts at noon, 51 at that point, windy, but a lot of sunshine. The big blizzard there races northeastward. We are fine Saturday, though cool and windy. A little bit warmer Sunday. And then uh, some showers, even a couple thunderstorms come through on Tuesday before we cool off once again after that. So multiple rounds of lows in the 30s, even a couple mornings at or below freezing. 52, that's it on Wednesday after a 63 Tuesday. 31 early on Thursday morning. And then we start to warm up at the very end of next week. And next weekend, I think we're going to be well into the 70s. And I think we may start to be talking about a little bit of severe weather risk perhaps a, a week from this Monday or a week from this Sunday. Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't have rain. Well, we could have had rain in our viewing area last night. Was there a little bit of last night in our viewing uh, area? Not last night, but this evening we had a this few. This evening, well, there's last two nights.